Hello, 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 everyone. Oh my goodness. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday here. We are so excited to be here with you guys and we are going to be having such a lot, a lot of fun um, over here today. And it's Monday. So guys, I want to just say hello, hello, hello. Rachel, how are you? I'm good. Just like you said, it's Monday and I feel like I've already gotten a lot done today. So Ooh, that's good. I'm glad someone has. <laughs> I feel a little behind compared to typical Mondays, but that's okay. Um, this weekend we had a lot going on. Rachel made like 200 cupcakes Friday and then we volunteered all day Saturday. And then Sunday, I think we all just um, went kaputs. So, yeah, I didn't do a thing. Yeah, no, there was not anything to be done. Um, so it was all good. So again, guys, happy Monday. We missed you over the weekend. It is um, a lot of fun, um, you know, to be back and we are ready to get excited and get crafty. Now today we have been conquering some really crazy projects here on the YouTube channel over the past few weeks. So today we wanted to bring it back to the home and make a really fun project with Cricut. Guys, this is not meant to be something Something to overwhelm you. This is going to be a project that you're like, ah, refreshing. Yes, um, we've been wondering where that Easy Press has been. We've missed our Easy yes. Press. We've got Stella out today, and we're really excited to answer any questions from beginners or just hang out with our regular crafty crew. Guys, I do want to let you all know we are less than 800 subscribers away from getting um, our 100,000 subscribers. It, that's I checked it this morning and like, it's, hello. It, we're so close Tanner. We're, we're, we're getting there we're really really getting there so I think we're going about 200 a day which is insane um so we are super super excited and um we are just I'm gonna have to take a look I'm gonna have to take a look right here um and just give you guys a little update as of right now um so it is just a lot a lot of fun okay let's look right here right now um, we've got, doo, 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 doo. we are at 99,407, Rachel. We're wow. 600 away. We're so close. So guys, share the channel with your friends, share all of it. Um, and we're super, super excited. We need so, to start blowing up balloons and ordering those cakes. Tanner. I mean, we're going to be having a <laughs> celebration and whatnot very, very soon. So it is, yes, Heidi, I hope that all weekend long, we will be able to celebrate the 100,000 subscribers here on the channel. And if you're not um, joining us at the Fall Summit like Heidi is, be sure to grab your summit ticket. We have that coupon code flash 35 um, and that is available just for the summit. So you'll save $35 getting registered for that fall summit. Um, and it's such a great crafty good old time. So be sure to hop on that, get your ticket. We want to have you there and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So yes, thank you guys so much for all of the support on the summit. Thank you guys so much for all of the support here on the channel. And if you guys are brand new here and not already a member to our membership community. Maker's going to learn what are you waiting for because we are super excited to get you guys involved. So yay! I'm super excited. Rachel, what is everyone saying in the comments? Everyone is really excited. They're talking about your 100k subscribers. They're talking about the summit, urging other people not to miss it. Uh, right. Miss Heidi said do not miss the summit. It's going to be the best one it yet. It is. We have so, so many amazing projects. It's I mean, going to be really good. The whole team came together on this one to make it one of the best. So we're going to be there with you all weekend long. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we cannot wait. Um, but yes, yeah. what else? And Miss Page asked a question. She Paige, said, what you? printable vinyl do you recommend? Ooh, StarCraft has a really great printable vinyl. Um, printable HTV. We love the new fun. Cricut printable vinyl works good. I mean, just read some reviews. We love all of those. StarCraft, Cricut, or um, for printable heat transfer vinyl, we love the new fun. So, yay! And Miss Elena said, I can't Hi. wait for the summit. Have packages been out been sent out yet and are there a supply list? There is a supply list and packages have been shipped out. So let us know um, if you need to get that supply list. Um, you can just send us an email and we'll give you that list. We're going to send out another email um, probably by tomorrow being like, hey guys, in case you missed it, here's the supply list. You know, the time is of the essence. So we're going to have a lot of fun. Yes. Um, we cannot and, wait. And feel better, Miss El Elena. She said she's oh. been behind because she's been sick no and worries. pregnant. Oh. Oh my so, gosh, congratulations. Congratulations and feel better. Yes, 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 yes. Feel better. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. 
Um, so it's going to be a just a jolly good old time. Um, so yes, we cannot wait. I'm getting all kinds of texts from the team. You guys must be working them ragged. I'm kidding. Um, but yes, so seriously today, guys, we are going to have just a great time. This is an amazing time to ask questions, to get involved, and um, you know be able to get a lot of goodness out of this show. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it is going to be um, just a great time. So these are the two things we're going to make today. We're making two amazing flower sack towels. Now, what I love about flower sack towels is you can buy these in packs of like 10 at Walmart, um, and they're so affordable. So they're very affordable. They're great gifts. They're great to put into different bundles of gift baskets and things like that. There's a lot you can do with them. So many things you can do with them. And, and if you are a beginner, these are great to grab because if you mess up, guess what? You've wasted so, like 10 cents. Yeah, Just yeah, toss it. Yeah, they're not it. bad at all to test things on um, and to have a lot of fun. So in today's video, we're working with two different colors of heat transfer vinyl, which is awesome. Um, and I think you guys are going to pick up some really great tips and tricks and it's going to be a lot of fun. But again, if you have not already joined the membership, our year membership is the best value tier for you guys to get in on. You get the most amount of perks for the least amount of money. Um, so we're all about that. We give you guys $48 um, off our annual membership, our best value compared to being a monthly member for a year. So you get that right off the top of your membership. Um, you get locked in at $15.99 a month compared to $19.99 a month, but you do have to pay that annually. Um, so it is a one-time fee up front, but then you don't worry about it or put it in your budget for 365, 365 days. And we give you three bonus courses. We give you access to our font library, which we're working with today. The two fonts we're featuring, or excuse me, just one font we're featuring is Flourish. And we are super excited about featuring the font Flourish. It is such a great one to work with. Um, and that's only ex exclusive to our yearly annual best value members. So many ways to refer to you guys. Um, and then you also get the commercial license so you can make and sell what you create. Um, and that's a huge thing. Most memberships and artists, com you know, companies that offer you SVG cut files, you do not get access to those. So that's a big, big deal. So yes, yeah, it you is can a make lot of that fun. money. Yes. And Miss Sue says, wish I could join Fall Summit. Both my husband and I have had major surgeries. Maybe I can join this spring. Well, Miss Sue, you rest up. We will have the next summit this spring. Um, and if you wanted to jump in and take the classes at a later date, you do get live time access to that. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I really need some inspiration and to help me get motivated for um, the Christmas season. Yeah, and, and you can like always that. watch them while you're recovering. Always and then make watch them, them while later. you're recovering. What I also love is that you're going to get these access. I mean, the ticket cost is less than the cost of hotel stay and you get 10 classes and these are 10 one hour classes. Um, so it is a lot, a lot of fun. So yay, we love it. But yes, what other questions are people um, asking? Is there anything we can do before we jump into design space and start working with all of our um, vinyl? Everybody seems pretty good. Good. I will Yay. update you, of course, because they'll just keep it flowing. Yay! I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, ooh, what do I do when I first get my maker? Because besides joining the membership, because that's a definite. Well, yes, our membership does have a ton of training um, on the machine and getting it out of the box. But you know what you want to do is just get started with a project. Like obviously, you know, yeah, people join the membership before they get their machine, so they can feel confident with it. Um, you know, our printable guide has a lot of quick tips for you and things like that. But yes, it is a lot of fun. So if you guys are excited, I'm gonna pull out my fancy dancy keyboard, um, then I can sit right here and just craft away. I love it. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun getting this project set up in Cricut Design Space. So woohoo! I'm super excited. Yay! But okay guys, we are here in Cricut Design Space and here is what our cut files will look like. So you've got it right here. Um, you've got these projects all set up and they're super, super fun. So what we love um, is that they're already set up and we love showing you the finished so we can walk you through how we you know set these up for you to be able to replicate the same exact thing so what font we're using today is this one right here from makers gonna learn it is called flourish and remember you must be an annual best value member to be able to download the font flourish and a big question that we get from our members is tanner can i use fonts with the commercial license and that is yes if you are an annual member you get the fonts the commercial license and those bonus training courses so this is a huge value for you guys to be able to use and enjoy we love it 
um, you can check out right here all of the um, yearly annual tiers you know perks you get all those extra scissors which is super super awesome and those bonus courses add up to truly the value that you're paying for that annual membership so it is a great time to hop on board we'll teach you how to master your machine master the software and then build a business through die cutting which is great it's a great entry level class on you know breaking down a lot of the business things that you guys need to be focused in on so and we have some new training coming for um, business owners and people that want to make money with their machine it is totally possible so if you're interested in that let us know so that we can keep a little you know a little pulse on who's interested in that and again look at the best value tier compared to monthly you're getting you know lower price you you know do make that commitment but you do get a, that saving so it's truly a win-win for us all and you know look at this these are all the things you get just for the best value tier so it's super super awesome um, and again, you'll need that for our fonts. And if you're already a Best Value member, you'll be able to download Flourish right away and start getting crafty. So, Rachel, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Before we get started, I yes. want to just make sure if we have any questions. Sure, we, we have. We did have quite a few as you were giving your spill, but okay. all good things. So... Uh, one that we had was, do we need to pre-wash our fabric when we're putting vinyl on them due to the sizing issues yeah. with the cotton? Yeah, so any cotton that is going to shrink that you plan on washing, I would highly recommend you guys to pre-wash that. Um, you know, most heat transfer vinyls does list that you need to pre-wash it. So yes, that's a great question. So yes, yeah. please pre-wash that. Just throw it in with some other things. And sometimes um, we don't if we do decorative towels like correct, this that we know correct. we're not going to wash, but it's always good to just and go don't ahead say and, you know. to not put like fabric softener or something, Rachel. It's like you don't have to use fabric softener and don't dry them, like and then wash right. them inside out. You know, little things like that. There's a lot of little tips to try to make it uh, a little bit better. And then Tanner, Georgie says, did a video come out for the September Maker Material box? And where can I find that? Yes, it was emailed. So you, please check your email. And again, if you did not receive it, um, be sure to check the email that you signed up through PayPal. That is the email we have on file um, for most people. So yes, be sure to um, check that. And then if not, let us know so we can you know get you that. And then Miss Heidi said, when will the iOS guide for the iPad come out? Ooh, Heidi, I think we're going to have that ready. All good for our um, big launch event happening in November. We have a lot, a lot of new annual best value perks um, being added. And I think that is one we are going to save until then, but you never know. We may we may pop it out to you sooner. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yes, so it's going to be good. We're, we're really excited for that one. But yes, Rachel, anything else? It looks like we're all caught up now, which is great. Well, okay, guys. So what I want to share with you guys right out of the bat is that we do have a Dean back collection um, or category on our site. So if you're brand new to Makers Gonna Learn, Makers Gonna Learn has over like 1,300, 1,400 cut files, over 200 plus fonts, and you get those as soon as you join. So you can go over here and you can kind of look through just the dingbats. But what I love is that we have a whole category um, or all the cut files can be kind of manipulated. So I'm going to talk you guys through some of that. I'm looking for just the neat back it's collection. Over here, all the oh my gosh, I, it's so hard to sometimes point that out as you read. So this right here is kind of like the little ding bats. These are just little bitty words, images, things like that, that are complimenting. Okay. So that antlers, you know, Netflix, amazing grace, the taco, the cat, you know, these are great little accents. This little smart cookie is a great print and cut. You can flatten the watermelon and turn it into a print and cut. Same with the strawberry and things like that. Um, so yeah, these are amazing. There's over 1,400 as soon as you join and you get access to this even if you are a monthly, monthly member. So stay tuned for that. Um, you know, you can grab that, but look at how we're gonna be able to contour these out. So you just import the SVG and then all you do guys is you can, um, you know, ungroup and then delete out these different layers that you don't need. So it's like, we don't need that. We don't need these. Um, so we can delete that and then we can delete this and all we want is one little pumpkin. But if you wanted, you could, you could use all three pumpkins, but let's just say you want that middle one. You're going to click contour and you just click on those layers you do not want. So that's how easy it is to manipulate our cut files, guys. Like there's no, there's no special secret or anything like that. It's, it's just easy. easy. 
Easy peasy. So this is called contouring if you guys are not familiar. Just click on the layers that you want to hide and then look, you have your pumpkin. So then we can do the same thing to this one. Um, and all we have to do is hide the cutie. And then we have our two layers ready to go. That one was super easy. Super easy. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, start typing this out and we're gonna grab a text box um, and we're gonna find our A. I'm gonna drag it over so we have some space, just like so. Um, so then what we're gonna do is we're going to change it from Cricut Sands to Flourish. So we'll click on System and then we'll type in Flourish. Um, so there's that. And then we'll type out at this point. And sometimes, guys, you are gonna want to have each word be its own layer. Um, some fonts, the spacing is totally you know, off. This one right here isn't off that bad. Um, and again, you can always you know, ungroup these if you want. So I'm just going to you know, work with what we've got today um, at this point. And as you can see, you know, as you bring that letter spacing closer, you're like, this may not be the proper um, spacing for me. That's totally fine. You can click ungroup and then look what you're able to do. You know, we can just kind of manually bring the spacing in together. So sometimes, you know, font by font, you know, it's, it's up to you. So I want that A closer and then, you know, it looks pretty, pretty good. And then you may look at it and say, you know, this uppercase A is too wonky on the lowercase A. And then you're like, okay, I love this A. So then, you know, it's really good. So yeah, let's just use that lowercase T as well. And it just kind of fits a little bit better. So yeah, you're able to just kind of play around with it. And I love being able to just share with you guys how we do it um, so that you guys, you know, learn to feel comfortable as well. So um, this font is adorable for, you know, what we're working with. And I really do like it a lot. One of my favorite things about the font is that the capital letters looks looking like it's a totally different font. It's mm -hmm, so cool. Mm -hmm. You do get that, which is great. So then you can kind of move these over. If my little keyboard does not help me out here, I'm going to, to freak. So sometimes what I like to say is that you want to bring in a basic shape to help align out words, especially when you start, you know, doing all kinds of different things with them. You want to be able to use a square or something in an accenting color. Um, and then what you want to do is to be able to kind of line this out um, and make it, you know, as straight as possible. So like this, you can also just group or attach each word and then do a line bottom to the that's whole. True. That's true. That's true. Bottom. So, that yeah. align feature I use, like it's going on style, I guys. I, really, I need to use it more and that's probably the no, best No, no, but so, this is a great example way. of things that I always say in design space, as long as you get to the same finish mm -hmm, line, it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter how you do it. There's 10,000 different ways to do anything in design space, whichever one you're most comfortable with. So that was just another great way that you could have done that. Yeah, either way. So Rachel was just talking about grouping all of them separately and then clicking align and then align bottom. And then look at that. So it's all lined up and you're not even having to worry about it. So that's a huge um, blessing. So at this point. It is a blessing. That's what I'm gonna start calling it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I love it. Um, and then you just wanna build out each you know, line. So this line right here, you know, this looks pretty good to me, except this big space. So then we can click ungroup and we can select this, these two. And, you know, sometimes I just use my, my keyboard. Love those arrow keys. The arrow keys really do a lot of goodness. Um, so then, you know, we just want to click on another text box. We'll type out type is, if I could spell, if I literally, oh. I keep trying to select all, but that button does not work on this keyboard. The what does it? I was pressing Alt instead of Control because I'm used to typing on a Mac keyboard. No, that thing's brand new. That should work. <laughs> no, 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 it works. I'm just clicking the wrong button because. Oh, okay. I thought we had another issue with her. No, 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 no. We're good. But yes. So then, you know, look at this. Bringing it in. 
Maria said the contour button is my favorite. Would not have known how to use it if it wasn't for you guys. Aw, we love that button. It's so good. So, so good. And Heidi, that Align feature is probably my top five favorite things in design space. I use it so often. It really, it really can take a project from good to great. That's true. That is so true. And then look at this, guys. I mean, we're able to just start building this out, you know, have a lot of fun with it. And it's super easy. Whoops. I've only gotten one pumpkin spice latte this year, Tanner. I gotta get more. Rachel, it's rough. I, mean, I gotta hey, get more. Fall is gonna be gone. It is, and then and then my my winter Starbucks drink is like the peppermint mocha. Love that. Really, mm -hmm. really. Hmm. I love it. So, guys, sometimes it's nice to measure out what size you're going for, um, and then have that as an outline. So, for example, you can actually go through and measure. Um, your project and then you know kind of map it out on the uh, excuse me I just pressed undo because the spacing was a little off and then I'm go click attach to keep that all together um, but anyway what I like to do sometimes is measure exactly what size you know I'm kind of working with and then size it up as I see fit um, but yeah, it's totally up to how you all want to design your projects and things like that. But yes, so this is fun, super, super fun. And you can totally, a lot of people are commenting about what they would rather do other than pumpkin spice because maybe they're not the biggest pumpkin spice fan. Oh my gosh, That's the thing so about many. fonts, guys. You've got the alphabet. Do whatever. Let's talk about pumpkin pie. Throw Hello. pumpkin pie. Hello. Throw, someone said you could throw cinnamon spice. You could throw oh, apple snap. cinnamon. Oh, throw snap. anything in can there. Can we just talk about a big cinnamon roll, a donut? You can make this evergreen so you're not having to change it out for a season. Um, or anything like that so it is truly this easy guys and then once you're happy with all of these letters you know where they're at you want to select all of this one layer and you want to be able to click attach so why you do not want to just leave it as is is watch what happens when you click make it so you know this is all sporadic um, you have this one so this one's been grouped this one's been grouped but these are all the random letters that I have not attached. So this is the two you see on the map. But then you start seeing these random words all, I mean, some are random letters, everything like that. So that's all crazy. You can't do that. So how you get it to look exactly how we have it here is you actually want to be able to select both of all of these black letters and you want to click attach. Now, if we were to attach our pumpkin with this, at this point, my blood top is pumpkin spice, guess what that would do? That would actually change the color to black. Um, so we want that a separate color. So we'll just manually um, position that after we cut it. So you just want to click attach there. And then when you click make it, you'll see all three of these are, you know, together in its own its own world. Yay. So, yay. <laughs> we love that. So, okay, we can go to cancel and then, you know, we do not need this third one we built. So I'm just going to select that and delete it and then select this one and delete it. So now we have, you know, these two, which are, which are good to go. So yay. Super, super fun. Um, but yes, what questions do we have? Again, guys, this font is flourish. So be sure to check that font out at Makers Gonna Learn. And if you're not already a best value yearly annual member, um, you will want to go and grab that membership. And we are super excited for you guys to be able to get in on that because this time of year is the best time of year to get involved in our membership because there are deadlines, guys. There are deadlines on the fall. There are deadlines on Christmas. We have the front porch decor. Um, you know, we have a whole week of that and we have so many other things. So we are super, super excited for all the things we got going on, guys. And if you are loving the free videos we have here on the channel, you are absolutely going to love the year membership. So we would love for you guys to take advantage of that 
we cannot wait to have you guys in the membership. So Rachel, who is tuning in? If we have any brand new friends. We do. Ooh. They've been Ooh. asking some great questions. Um, Jesse Hendricks Jessie. is here. Hello, hello, hello. They've been welcome asking to some the great, community. Yeah, yeah, welcome. We are they've, so glad you're here. They've been asking a lot of questions. Ooh. They said, Tanner, love your accent. Can you oh, tell we're you. from the South? <laughs> um, and also, Georgie said, what is the difference between attach and weld? It's a great question. I love question. that. So, okay. Uh, attach is a paperclip. Weld is like creating whole new shapes. Attach can always be unattached. And attached will actually, if two letters are touching, it'll still cut as they're separate and then they can come together and come apart. That does not permanently change anything, affect anything, honestly. It'll just let you cut exactly how you see it on the canvas as you would see it on the mat. It makes it kind of like one for each layer that's attached. Um, weld will turn for example, text into one new shape. That means you are not able to go and modify that text. Rachel preaches it all the time here on the channel. If you are about to weld fonts because cursive fonts have to be welded um, to have that flow of that. So it is a lot of fun um, and we like to duplicate before we weld so we have a backup in case Just we need to make case. any changes yes. i would hate to do a whole wedding project that is this new format for me um, and then have to start from scratch every time but if you you know save a copy save it to projects um, that is not welded guess what you'll have at least a lot a lot better starting point to change out the bride and groom's names or established dates or years or anything like that so absolutely yeah and take advantage of saving you know those projects in design space i we have do it a library of a ginormous amount of projects that you wouldn't think that I would have saved right and they have really came in handy with other projects or heaven forbid technical issues technical errors you internet know. issues you, you get all your know. work done and then something happens I have cried about it before uh -uh. but just make sure you save your projects it's you know unless it's just a super simple one uh, anything that you really put some heart into or maybe that's designed for a specific customer that you could use again definitely go ahead and save that because there's no harm in doing that or save two and three duplicates of it i mean yeah just whatever why not you know? like save more yeah. than you can so right. it's a lot of fun oh my gosh Heidi is so sweet rachel are you gonna read that last yes one this oh is definitely the best time of year for the makers gonna learn membership you. join today if you can you won't regret it honestly not to mention the Facebook group. It is Oh awesome. my gosh, our Facebook group is amazing. And hands down guys, like you can tell like the whole community is coming together because we all have so many deadlines. And that's what I love to get motivated is by other like-minded crafters, like in our community, getting crafty and pushing the pushing it up. I mean, so many people has made Rachel's wreath. So many people, people have made things from our- um, Tanner, the doormat. The doormat. I have mat. seen so many of the doormats, so yeah. many of the signs. One member went and wiped out Kirkland's and bought all of those Oh my God, signs. I saw that, I saw that. So yeah, we've had people doing all kinds of great things. And if you have a die cutting machine and you are on the fence or feel overwhelmed um, and things like that, you know, joining the membership is a great next step for you so that you're able to get in a community of having people to, you know, have conversations with, to get some resources. I mean, you get a huge library of art, a huge library of video content, and truly we are the one stop shop for education motivation and inspiration and that's just what i love so much so yeah the facebook group is a great place i know me and rachel both spend our um, evenings browsing and peeking around yes yeah, so i always check my notifications and it just like i mean it's not like i i'm always sure, there sure. like it doesn't matter what i'm doing what time but it yeah, is a little a little quick question i, I always I always in. check and see if someone yeah. or i just browse through it's and so see good. you guys i love watching all your eyes all your awesome. All the posts. Right? Uh, all the posts. All the projects. I know. I feel like we get to come and, you know, we give our time during this, but, you know, the Facebook group is where we get to see you guys shine and, you know, everyone getting like 200 likes on this project or 300 likes on this or 50 likes in the first hour. Like showing that support is really just amazing. So if you're a part of the community and you're not taking advantage of the Facebook group, what are you waiting for? What it's are you a doing? member perk. Yeah. Um, if you're not a member, you know, get in the Facebook group, you know, as a reason why to join, you know, let your spouse know that you want to be a part of this community because you're going to use your machine more. I promise you, um, we have had people that have joined the membership before they have their machine um, so that they're ready to master it right out of the great gate. Um, and we've had people that said, Tanner, I have had a machine for a year. I've spent way too much money on supplies and I've never made a single project or took it out of the box. So that's another reason why a lot of people join. Yeah. Or if you're like me, 
you're just a craft enthusiast and you want all of our amazing art because we have some of the best in the game yeah um, when it comes to artists for fonts and cut balls so yeah. and the training's honestly is just a big deal and it doesn't oh, yeah. it, you don't have to have like not even open your cricket you could know what it is what it does made a couple projects but learning all the skills and design space all the hacks all the tips all the tricks it's hard to know you yeah. know it's hard and it's hard to learn because sometimes the tutorials are really complicated or a little overbearing or hard or more geared to people who already know what they're doing and we kind of break yeah. that down we're all about coming back to the basics and exactly, things like that exactly, and anita exactly. wants to know Hi, how do you anita. become a member of the facebook group so the facebook group is a member only perk if you are signed in to your membership account um, you can click community and it'll send you right over to the facebook group so you'll be able to join there's three questions you have to answer those we have to match your account email to um, you to make sure that you know you're a member to get access and it's a lot of fun you know it's an amazing group and it is a small facebook group but it is so so good um, and we love it so yes if you are brand new to the summit the summit link the secret link the secret summit link will be sent out twice to you we have an email going out on Friday um, that will be for Saturday and then there'll be an email go out Saturday morning saying hey here's the secret link we'll see you like in an hour um, so that's for the summit guys and we cannot wait but yes if you guys have any questions um, let us know and if you're not already part of the summit less than a week away literally coming up this Saturday come join us for the fun and we are so excited all the projects I mean, are awesome so good so so good but yes okay guys so we've got all this set up let's go ahead we're gonna prepare our mat I'm just going to for what I'm gonna do I have two scrap pieces of black so I'm going to put one piece on the left side yeah I gave him our scraps today I was, <laughs> I was like let's let him use up some scraps yes, yes so I have one for the left side and one for the right side oh look this is like low key I mean it made this perfect so we're gonna just make sure that nothing's cutting on this line and we're gonna double check that and then for the second mat we'll put orange on so yeah let's go ahead and we'll be able to you know position both of these like this on Cricut Design Space but again guys if you're brand new because I do realize we are about to hit a hundred thousand subscribers and sometimes we just want to break things down for newbies um because we're very you know beginner oriented um this is heat transfer vinyl so on heat transfer vinyl there's two sides so this is the dull side and this is the shiny side. So super, super shiny, super, super dull. Super, super shiny. That's a good super, example super too, because that color is exactly. really different. <laughs> exactly, black is like kind of the same way. You can't really pick it up as much. I mean, you can clearly see more shine and dull, but when you do this, you have to mirror the things on um, in design space. So regular vinyl, no mirroring. Heat transfer vinyl, always mirror and put it down. Shiny side down. Yeah, because that shiny side is a transfer it's sheet that's built, built in. in. Yes, yeah. it's built in, built in transfer sheet, um, which is a lot of fun. And you'll see what I mean here in a moment. If you're like, what are you talking about? We'll show you here in a second. So just remember that. Um, and now let's head over to Zon Space so we can show you what you've got to do to work with two scrap pieces like we are today. Oh, you're um, oh that my poor little not even that on. poor little keyboard. Oh, did my creep? Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just I'm showed sorry. you trying to feed it in there. It's okay. It's okay. We're not hiding nothing. No. So, no. okay, guys, we have got all of this right here. We can just click make it. And then what we want to do is, you know, you're going to turn mirror on. So, mirrors for heat transfer vinyl. You turn that bad boy on. And then you want to go over here for this one. And you want to drag it over. So, we got to make sure that at the seven inch mark, we're good. And then for this one, we're good until the five inch mark. So this is like perfect. We couldn't have, you know, planned this better to be honest. And then on our second one, we'll be able to just have this here. So we'll go ahead and mirror it. And you know, this is just really good. You can use Cricut um, heat transfer vinyl. If you guys do shop Cricut, be sure to use our links down below. That gives us a small commission at no cost to you to support all of the production that we do here. Coming to you guys, you know, it's the second best way to support everything we do here. Um, so then you'll just want to click on everyday iron on. It lets you know to make sure that mirror is turned on. Absolutely. We're going to give a little bit more pressure and we're going to use fast mode because we're not doing anything too crazy. But here's one thing I want to notice. Oh, 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 Rachel, do you see what we were about to do? What? We were about to make a mistake. We're do about you to notice the second mistake? Mat, not the first one. Correct. So all we got to do is we got to click on that first mat because um, we need to cut it first Boy, well, have i made that mistake we've made that mistake a lot um so yes it says we need to load the map but um 
It's already loaded. You might have to unload it, load it back. It's probably confused. Maybe. Let's just do that just in case. So, okay. We're going to unload and then load it back. Let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. And do, 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 do. Hello. It has the flash and cricket button ready to go, but it doesn't show me step three. So, I don't know. I guess I'm going to press the flash and cricket button and see which mat it cuts. It better be cutting mat. Oh, it's cutting mat too. No, 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 no. It's doing the same thing it did the other day. Oh my God. You're going to have to go ahead and cut mat two and then cut mat one. Oh, I just turned the cricket off. So we'll oh, see what Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen guys, this is real life crafting. This could happen to you just as well as us. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so, okay. So, okay, what we're gonna do is all we gotta do is come over here and press cancel. And we're just gonna have to set all this up again. And I know sometimes you may get frustrated. It happens to the best of us, but okay. We, it leaves it all, you know, it remembers everything. So mirror still turned on. We're gonna leave mat one selected. We're gonna press continue. And we're gonna connect via USB once again. And Rachel, how many friends do we have hanging out with us today? Well, by, by the look of this chat, these chats a whole lot. We've got oh, over 200 friends joining 200 us. 200 friends. Well, yes. guys, thank you so much. Give us a thumbs up if you've ever had, you know, a little issue now and again cutting some products with Cricut. Everyone knows how it is. Absolutely. Miss Carol Ann, uh, she was being very honest. Can I take the mouse now? One second. I got to okay. turn fast mode okay. on and then I will let you just have her back. I'm going to press the flashing Cricut button. I'm going to switch dun, to dun, you dun, dun, too. We're pressing the flashing cricket button. Uh, anyways, Miss Carol Ann. Hi, Miss Carol Ann. Uh, she said, boy, did I not do that correct. When you were talking about the HTV. Oh, wow. We're, we're saving great. it. Anyway. She yes. said she did not. She put the she put the material the other way before oh, she knew no. how. And I told her, I said, that's okay. It's an honest mistake. It happens to the best. It, it happens does. happens to the best. It does. You are not alone. I forgot to mirror something literally the other day. Oh, like, yeah. It just. It's, it's, I mean, mirroring. I you're mean, never so perfect many, crafting, you know. No, there's so many perfect. potential ways to make a mistake that, you know, it does happen time to time. So we love to be here to kind of help drill those things in. Another thing about our membership, I know we talk about it a lot, but. If you remember, you get the Cricut Printable Guide, and this is something you can print out, and it kind of lets you all know what you can cut with what. One of my favorite things that I use a lot is what mat, you know, we recommend for what. Sometimes we stretch the, um, stretch the light grip mat, so really, you know, for iron-on, we recommend the standard grip mat, but, you know, we always, on a fresh light grip mat, works well. This one, we're stretching it. Um, and that's okay. You can stretch yours. It's okay. You want to get that full value. Um, we were just talking about how we're low on standard grip mats anyway, so that's kind of kind of funny. But yeah, so you just want to let this cut out. And sometimes if you're, you know, needing to give it some extra love and hold hold its hand, if you will, um, you know, like I'm doing right now, that's totally fine. So it happens, but Miss Caroline, or Caroline, or Caroline, um, happens to the best of us. So yeah, anyway, um, we're having a great day. We are, again, 600 subscribers away from hitting 100,000. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're really excited to celebrate 100,000 with you guys. So you'll have to be able to tune into that celebration um, and get in on some really awesome, you know, exciting uh, times. So get excited for that. We'll be happening, hopefully, this week. All right, so, I mean, what's your Prediction, I Rachel. Think, oh no, I'm not doing. I don't. You've got oh, to predict. Gosh. Okay, okay so predict. we're at we're at 99.4. Point four. We're 600 four. away. You wouldn't know this way more than I do. I don't know how much we grow in like a week and okay, a day. Okay, okay, okay. Here, I don't we'll, really we'll know do our the math. average. We'll do the math okay, together. Okay. On the past 30 days, we have grew 6,000. Point four. In, 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 in 30 days, we've grew about 6,400. Okay. So if we take 6,400. 6400 divide that by 30 um we're growing at 200 a day so technically we should fingers crossed be there in three days so tuesday wednesday by thursday rachel thursday by thursday i was gonna say a, a day before the summit which would be which friday would be friday so thursday friday is where it when it's projected okay, okay okay we could we could hit it guys and you know what if people share the channel and if people just enjoy the videos, we could hit it even sooner. So get excited. I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, there's gonna have to be some cake involved. There's gonna have to be some ice cream involved. I don't I don't even know what else needs to be involved. Um, but we're gonna also have some really great things for you guys. So we'll be 
I'll be working up some really cool things for you. So get excited for that. And I cannot wait. Um, but yes, yes, yes. So Rachel, what is everyone saying in the comments? So, Ooh. Uh, Barbara said, by becoming a member, you get to go back and to continually get to watch the videos again. That is a great yes. thing about becoming a member and having, mm -hmm. especially the yearly membership with those free of three e-courses. E lots of value. Um, Hannah D said, you will be celebrating on October 23rd as well. Yes, Tanner. Yes, woohoo. Tanner's woo birthday. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then Miss Carol Ann said, Hi. Uh, I love the way that you've laminated that, your Pimple Guys. Where did you have that done? I had it mine done at the UPS store, but guys, you all know if you've been a loyal watcher, we're not a fan of this. Do not do this no, again. It, and it was way too expensive. Don't do it this way. Go to Office Max, Staples, uh, Yeah, somewhere go somewhere like good. I don't even know. Um, this was very expensive for the 20 or 30 pages we've done. But it is such good quality, and she is held up. You could DIY this at home, too, with a home laminator. It's not that expensive, um, but you would need some other type of bonding situation. Yeah. I would probably do rings. I would probably do, like, three rings, hole punch that bad boy. Um, you're, you're golden. Yeah. Like, this right here just comes undone, and it's not easy to. I want to flip to a page and leave. I don't want to leave it open like this, and if you flip it all the way around, I mean, it snaps oh out of Lord, the, the yes. curls. I'll fix that Rachel's fixed that thumbs. thing way too much for me. But, so. but you could also, it. we know a lot of members of, uh, um, they craft bookmark up. it on their iPad, their phone. That's great. But yeah. they're a lot of them also craft up like a three ring binder mm -hmm. and just print them out and throw them in the binder. Yes, That's because fun if too. you're not a member and you want to be able to see your artwork a lot better, we have a printable um, guide or a printable PDF to show you all the cut files. So you're able to show customers if you have that annual membership and things like that. Um, you know, all that goodness. So, yes. Yeah, and you really don't want to pay so much money to get it laminated somewhere else right. because we're always adding new pages and things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you'd have so you to, like, keep taking it. it back. Yeah, yeah and that way you could add to it. to it easier. And someone said, uh, Brittany said, you can also buy the self-laminating sheets at Walmart. Love yeah. the self-laminating sheets. There's a lot of options. They're so good. So, okay, we have this right here. And what I want to do, guys, if you're, we have, I feel like we have a lot of newbies here today, Rachel. Would you agree? I would agree. Woo yes. Speaking of it. newbies, it's also Miss uh, Janice's first time here. She's from Florida. Janice from Florida. Hello, 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 my friend. We're so excited you're here creating crafty with us. So what I just was able to do was I used my Cricut True Control knife. And guys, if you have not ordered this, click the Shop Cricut link down below. Grab this right here. Like, seriously, you need it, like, tomorrow. <laughs> Excuse me, but we cut off the excess and then we grab our pin pin tool. This is such a great tool. Um, and then you're able to, you know, weed this out, right? Like so. So we just get started in a corner. And then I'll always weed on the mat. If you are not weeding on the mat, what are you doing with your life? Because it's like a third hand to keep everything adhered down. I didn't weed on the mat the other day when <gasps> I was making a bunch of projects in a row. Rachel. And I, it literally took me twice as long. I know. It did not save me a single minute of my time like I thought it would. Right, It right, didn't. Right. I understand. It took up more time. I was more overwhelmed because it was... You were trying to hold it. It was vinyl, too. Oh, so no. I was way more overwhelmed. It was terrible. Yeah. So, guys, if you're new here and you're like, what is this built-in transfer tape he was talking about? Look at this. We're peeling the, you know, look at this. We're peeling it back. So it looks totally different. Totally different. So, yay. Look at this. How awesome. So we're just peeling that up. Just like so. They love the True Control Knife, too. Love my True Control Knife, guys. You all that have one know what's up. And Michaela said, ordered me a pin pin. Woohoo, Michaela. You're going to love the pin pin tool. The pin pin tool and the True Control Knife work hand in hand together. They're like partners in crime in my craft room. And I just want to say, like, super love our craft room situation like we have so much space so we do it has been so nice it is every day i come in here and i'm like oh and like as the weeks go by and things get busier for like christmas and things yeah. we're utilizing more of the space and right. and it's, it's hard when you first move in to mm -hmm. know where everything goes and it takes a few months especially if those of you who are like moving into a new craft space i know we have one person who's been redoing a craft space and updating Ooh. us on facebook the yes. facebook group and stuff and i love seeing that and it takes a while once you get all your stuff in here to to know where everything's comfortable and where you want to 
Right, and you move stuff everything. around. We move stuff around. Oh, and the, yeah, and you do. You move stuff around all the time. Out. I've moved. So Tanner's probably come down here and been like, Rachel, <laughs> what have you done? I mean, it's just trying to like get the groove and see how you know how things work totally. well in here. But I think we've got it down pat, and everything is is really it flows good. Oh, everything's really efficient. Right. I'm, I'm super super happy with it. Right, right, right. Tanner, how are you happy? Because I mean, it's your home. How are you I happy with it? it? <laughs> I love it. I'm, I love being able to come down here. Make a quick project in the evenings after, you know, after work sometimes, and just have a lot of a lot of crafty fun down here. It's the windows help a ton. I think just make us feel, you know, more productive and have a lot of fun. And we never got to talk about how freaking funny these were. I mean, who? I mean, you all have so many ideas about different things you can put on here. Um, you know, I love the the Alexa um, bake me bake me pumpkin pie and tell me I'm skinny. I mean, <laughs> please Alexa, do that. Like. So adorable, and I, I try not to mention the A word because then, you know, ma, you know what, and your, you know what, will start listening to us. Just, yeah, just say, you know what, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, I know. They'll have to, they'll have to get with what we're talking about. But yes, if you guys are not weeding on the mat, try that, and if you are brand new and you have not dra grabbed a annual Best Value membership, today is your day. Today, I can feel it. I can, I can, you can feel it, Tanner. Mm -hmm, I can. Can you? I, I can. I In know. your bones. I mean, listen. I, last week we showed that I've been around the block for a decade um, on YouTube. So I, I mean, we built this membership very intentionally for all of our friends. It is not a mistake that you are here. No. Mm -mm. You are here on purpose. Mm -hmm. God led you here. <laughs> God, He led you here. Exactly. Sometimes you need it. Um, so yeah. We are just going to throw away those scraps and then get these last few pieces out um, just right here. So look at this. I mean, this pin pin tool, guys, if you use it the right way, you kind of have to have a just a quick pull with it. Like, this is not, you know, rocket science, but it definitely is a lot different than the Cricut weeding tools, which I know is, a, if you're like me, that's what you're accustomed to. But this pin pin tool, guys, once you get going with it, it's so fast. And poor Carol and Tanner, she said, we had a flood, so my craft room is being packed up as I write this. I'll be starting new by Christmas. I'm blessed to have a big studio, but a flood wrecked our home. Bless that's terrible. It. That's terrible. If, I who mean, was that? If there, that's Carol Ann. Yeah, Carol Ann, Carol. I'm if so there's sorry a, to hear that. If there's a bright side to that, it's that you can, if there was anything you didn't love about it, yeah. Now that you're starting new, you can kind of, you know, make that a little bit more your style, more, definitely, you know, you can switch definitely. some things around. Yeah, sometimes we just have to make the best out of the cards we're dealt. And Tanner, this is an interesting question that okay. we've never gotten. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch it to you. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just Sue gonna cut says, that Matt, hi, how Sue. many members are there? We have over 33, 3,500. I don't have the exact data um, right off the top of my head, but yeah, we have over 3,000 amazing like minded crafters. So if you're on the fence about it, you know, it's such a great membership. We love all of our members um, and we'd love to have you. Um, if you're not one or if you're just already in the community and you're just curious, you know, um, but yeah, it's such a great, you know, community and we really do love it. So I'm preheating the easy press to 330 um, and then I'm going to sit this back here. But Patricia said she asked her, you know what, uh, what the towel says uh -huh. and her, you know what said, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so funny. I love asking the, you know what questions. Yes, that's adorable. Okay, so I'm getting the towel ready. I always, with the flower sacks, like to pre-press it. Um, some things you don't necessarily have to pre-press, but you know, with the flower sacks, with it being so um, textured and things like that, um, you definitely want to do that. So, yes, I'm just gonna cut out this little excess, and these little images, guys, are gonna be so quick to weed out. I mean, you're going to be shocked at how quick we're able to do this. Sue is the one who asked about the members. She said, just being nosy. Love my year membership. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. We're glad. Totally fine. We are we are an open book here. Oh, Megan, this is a great question. We get this question all the time. Hey, Megan. Uh, Megan says, when cutting on your Cricut mat, how do you know how much pressure to use so you don't send the true control blade right through the mat? Megan, you just feel it out, girl. You know, it's, it's a, definitely difficult when you're watching. You're like, he's going to cut that thing. 
you, when you have that knife in your hand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know how much pressure to put. You know, you know whether yeah. you're cutting through the backing of the HTV sheet or if you're cutting straight through the mat. You yeah, know? you can just and you'll feel get better as you go as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't even know how. I, like I don't think. I, I mean, I'm sure. I'm not going to sit here and say I've never snapped a mat with the true control knife. Well, no, okay. I don't think we've snapped one with the true control knife. I think we started it with the true control knife, mm -hmm. and then we did the whole, you know, peel up from gravity and flipped it over and yeah. bent the uh, bent the mat, and it kind of finished the job. Sure, sure. I know we've done that. Yeah, and especially when you first, you know, get it. But guys, like, if I tell you this is the most efficient way possible of doing it, like, it is. I truly will tell you. And we're going to make this, you know, potentially be able to hit all at once. So I just like to trim these down if I ever want to do like a one hit wonder. Um, so you want it to be nice and nice and small. So that's why we trim these down. So yes. Um, but super easy. And then sometimes if you have like these little scraps here, I like to take the transfer sheet and just kind of like pick up those little bitty pieces on the back. It's very handy. And Homemade Millennial said, Hello. Hey y'all, I'm late to the show but made it. Happy Monday. Happy, Happy Monday. Home Happy Monday, Homemade Millennial. If you'd like to tell me your name, I'd love to learn it. It's like my favorite thing. Love it, love it. Okay, so we have these two, and I'm just going to sit those over to the side. We have making sure I don't touch the keyboard so things start happening. We're going to bring this in, and what we're going to do is we have the Easy Press. We're using our mini 6x7 Easy Press today. Um, That's what we're Stella. Going to do, yes, Stella, um, is we're just going to preheat this for a few seconds. You want to make sure it's nice and, you know, pressed out. There's no wrinkles or anything like that. Um, and this is kind of folded, so you just want to be careful. Um, I always sure heat mine folded. I mean, yeah, you can never, unfold it. These flower sure sack towels. Big creases, because no. you're going to give some pressure. It should be totally fine. But if you start having issues, you know, maybe you want to look into that as a potential reason. So, anywho, I'm just going to put this on here. Look at that. And then we grab our little pumpkin. Carol Ann says, have you all done a craft room tour video? I would love to dream on your studio. We have not done one with this space. We haven't. If we've not. we've given peaks. I know. Well, I need to clean it really good and get her all organized, and then maybe we can do one. Yeah, maybe that's maybe. what we can do one day. Maybe, maybe we will. We'll have to give you guys fun. a little live stream because we had so much fun giving a live stream at our last one. So, um, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to do that. Yeah. So it's not dirty. Those. I don't yeah, I don't we let can it see get the dirty. Floor. But. It needs to be a little more organized, you know what I'm saying? Totally. We gotta yeah. give some tips for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. But yeah, so we're gonna hit this for 30 seconds and we'll move it down and hit it for 30 more. So there we go. I could have gotten the bigger easy press, but why? Wow, we why? this beautiful. I probably one. use Stella more than any other one. Now, that's just because my own stubbornness, especially because lately I've been ironing on wood a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's really easier, it's a lot easier with a smaller heat plate to be able to get into yes. the unevenness of the wood. Great tip, great, great tip. Then have like the bigger heat plate. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I usually just reach for Stella, but yes. they're all great. They're all amazing. They're all amazing. Oh, Karen. She's I'm multitasking, kidding. making cookies while tuning in. Can you oh send gosh, me a cookie? I want to make cookies. I would love a cookie. That would be delicious. Listen, Rachel. What? I went to El Chorito yesterday. El Chorito? Okay. But there was this adorable little girl that came up and said they're fundraising for getting a food truck for El Chorito. You're, shut up. No, no, shut no, no, no. They're fundraising. Did, she had a basket. She please tell basket. me that you... <laughs> she please had tell a me, basket. Please tell me that you just... you. You poured into that. No, um, no. I'm going to tell you what happened what to happened? me. What happened? I would have poured. I'd have given all the money okay, my bank first account. First of all, if you met her, if you met this little girl, you would be like, I want to give you everything I own. Right. Because she was, so, like, literally, she's a little, like, totally child labor. But she offered me some fresh baked goods, Rachel. Fresh baked goods. Okay? Fresh oh, baked goods. Okay. Um... So they, she said there were cookies. So I was like, oh my gosh, of course I will support the food truck because El Trito is like my favorite Mexican restaurant. Right, right. Yeah, um, uh, it's you know, the best. It's the best. I, I love it. So anyway, I was like, of course I will support you. You're an adorable little girl. How could I say no? I have cash. Hello, Rachel. What? She gave me. Now, first of all, here, here we go. She, she had the upsell. As soon as I said yes, she said, well, well, do you want to buy... 
do you want to buy? It, it's three dollars for three cookies. It was in a pack. Okay. Or she said, do okay. you want to do four for ten? And then everybody gets a pack of cookies because we had three other people at the table. Oh, okay. So okay. I said, yes, I will give you a ten dollar bill and you will give me four packs of cookies. Okay. Okay. Those cookies were not freshly baked. They were from Walmart. Oh, And not no. even the good Walmart cookies that I get. Tanner, were they Walmart cookies? They were Walmart cookies. Were she paid they? $2 for a pack of 20. And she said they were fresh baked cookies? Did she say the words? Yes. They're... That's sad. That's they took false them out and put them in sal cellophane. Like, That's false advertising. They... Anyway. And, and let me just tell you people. Tanner would know. Tanner has had a, his fair share of Walmart cookies in his day. He would know. He knows the Walmart cookie when he sniffs it, probably. We all, I mean, it had a wang to it, guys. Oh, a it Walmart wang. It was like the wang. time we were on our vacation this summer, and we go to a Mexican restaurant, and I <gasps> want an American sampler, and I get, I get mozzarella sticks, chicken wings. Literally everything was from the Walmart deli. 100%. First of all, Tanner should never have eaten an American food sampler at a want, good Mexican restaurant. I'm on restaurant. vacation. I don't want Mexican food on vacation. I love Mexican food. I want Mexican food anytime. You're making me want it now. Dad gum it. Rachel, Tanner. go to El Chirito. The, the little girl will be asking you for three dollars and somehow get ten dollars off of you to I listen, it's her... going to the food truck and I'm just saying when that food truck comes up, I'm gonna be like, I want a free cheese quesadilla or something. Because you gave me Walmart cookies and I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and not tell anybody. It's like blackmail. You can yeah. blackmail them. But okay, guys, we're putting this last one down. And if you, or do we have any questions on this process? We're just hitting. No. It. I mean, this such feels so relaxing to me after all these bigger projects we've been conquering. No, they're doing great. Sue says, I bought the middle heat press and love the size. The 9 by 9 is definitely our recommended yes, it's the heat best. press. If you can only uh, purchase one, get the 9 by 9 100%. Totally, totally, totally. We have had the amazing blessing to be able to have them all to test yeah, them all and see course, them all so of course but we do recommend of course the nine by nine <clears throat> rachel i had a dream last night about a video we were going to do with the mini mini easy press but i forgot what the idea was it was something oh, off the that is hysterical wall. you were dreaming about that I what know. the crap tanner that just shows you guys that tanner's really dedicated i, I want to know his craft i want to know what craft i wanted to make because i thought it was actually a really good idea too I can't remember. But you can't remember it. No. I was dreaming But you it. knew it was a good idea. I, I hate when I do that. Yeah. You remember so many specific things about the dream, but not the most important ones. It's so funny. I keep sliding in this chair. Uh-oh. We have 125 viewers, Tanner. Woohoo! Hi, everybody. Hello. But okay. Michaela, she does not have a heat press. Listen, that's fine. You can continue to use that household iron until of you save up that money. We have 225 viewers, Rachel. Do I keep saying you said 125? 100. I was about to. I was about to say, what did I do to drop from 200 uh, to 125? I mean, 225. I, can't, I always do that. I did that yesterday and everything. I was like, well, he don't seem excited. Huh. It's because I said 125. Tanner would have been uh, happy I'm with 125, for anything. but. 225 is really great. Yeah, it is killing it, Sorry. guys. And we want to get you all, all the ball crafting. I'm going to so. pay more attention to the numbers, I say. I mean, look <laughs> at how easy this was. Look at these. Now I have two sets. I'm so excited. I'm going to steal one, but. This. I mean, totally, Rachel. We I don't even sure. have a you know what, but that's okay. Listen, yeah, that's what we were talking about before, guys. If you have a Google, you can, you know, change out the A word. Don't you have Google. to say, okay, Google? Like, is that that yeah, one? Yeah, I think so. And I then there's know. another one. There's another you, one. Yeah, you can do Siri. You can do Alexa. You can do Google. There's, I mean, there's so many different tops that you can you can do. So change this up and have fun with it. And what I love about this, guys, is that with our annual Best Value membership, you get the font, and then you're able to do, honestly, whatever you want. You can do all the gift ideas, all the Christmas gift ideas, just everything. Fonts are my favorite. I'm like the team advocate for fonts. Yeah, Rachel leads <laughs> our team advocate, our, our font ad, advocacy program. Wow, advocacy. What a word. What a word. I don't but, know yeah. if I could spell it, but... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Me either. Re Rachel, try to spell restaurant right now. I can't spell restaurant. Can't spell and then, restaurant guys, when either. I first started with Tanner, uh, what I still can't spell entrepreneurship. That was what it is. He I still legit spell asked me for what we, one of my goals was for the year, and I, it was a total joke. I said by the end of the year, I want to know how to spell entrepreneur. No, I still don't. Intra me it looks like entrepreneur. That's what it looks like. Manure. Entrepreneur. In, <laughs> oh my gosh. But guys, seriously, the summit is quickly approaching. That's if an understatement. Not, 
it is, it is. It's a very much an understatement. If you're not already signed up, get signed up because this price will be going away. The coupon code will be going away. This is your last chance. Hop on it while you can. Come join us, come craft with us, and have a lot, a lot of fun. And we love it. So we're super, super excited, Rachel. Do we have any questions? We had one. I okay. answered it. Miss Cindy said, where do we get our towels? We got <gasps> them in a pack of 10. Yeah, is it really a pack of 10? Should I go check? They're, they're, it's a pack of 5 to 10. I think it's a pack of 5 to 10. They're very, very cheap. Yeah, very affordable, really great. Um, and we love it. So, yay, we love it. Oh, we I guys. triggered somebody's Google thing. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. Oh, Oops. Snap. Oh, snap, Rachel. You're going to be telling them to like you know buy maker school or membership or something oh yeah there was wasn't there a commercial it. that came out that yeah that? yeah really, it did something really about like controversial it did something our burger king did something i don't i don't something like that, something like that. I don't and know. then a lot of people tanner this is the fourth comment which is why i'm addressing it is it the shirt on, on your zelda shirt oh can just to re-clarify <laughs> this story because you guys are gonna get a kick out of this i i'm gonna hurt some people I do not know what Zelda is. He don't. He don't. Here is the story on this t-shirt. Courtney, years ago, going on almost two and a half years, she, she flew to, from Nashville to Florida for a vacation we were going on. So anyway, she gets there and she gives me the shirt. She said, here, I got you this shirt. And I'm like, okay, thanks thinking it's a shirt that has something to do with Nashville. Oh, God love her. And then I wear it like when I get home to Starbucks or something and they're like, oh my gosh, I love your shirt. And I'm like, thanks, my girlfriend got it for me. This is, thank you. And then somebody else compliments me. No one, me. Corey didn't know what it was. Tanner doesn't know what it was. He walks around, gets compliments on it all the time. And he's like, thanks, man. Because he just doesn't want to say, I have I'm no wearing it, idea. but I don't know what it is. I have no is. idea what Zelda is. I think it's, is it a game? It's is a it video a game. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. like a video game. I think it's, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, it's a franchise. Come to find out, guys. Come to find out. Courtney did not buy this shirt in Nashville. She bought it at Kohl's for her father and it was too small for him so she gave it to me i think it's hysterical she bought it for her dad just to wear on the trip in nashville no i have to say i know that somewhere on that shirt when she bought it there had to be a tag that said it says zelda, zelda on the back i think it had to but i mean Courtney there has to be know some zelda is. she was buying shirts at at kohl's she wasn't looking for disney or whoever makes zelda you guys have to think I'm crazy. No. Um, Crystal says, can you iron on a foam pumpkin? Miss Crystal, do you want your foam pumpkin to melt? I don't. <laughs> That's what will happen. Don't do that. Don't do that. You'll you'll be getting some chemicals going. I mean, we can test it for you. Rachel has tested a sock for how many seconds? I mean, <clears throat> it was, well, it was heated for a long time, but the max amount was 100 seconds on 400 degrees. I love it. I love it. It um, burned. Uh, so yes, I'm glad you all like my shirt. I like the shirt too. It's a very comfortable shirt. I just think it's hilarious that Tanner's walking around with a shirt on that he has n he knows nothing that, about. It shows how comfortable it is. That's very true. Because somebody complimented it today, like in, in real life, as well as all the random comments I've seen about it here on the this. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Crystal, but, yes, even if you use a Teflon sheet, you're Crystal, gonna, you're gonna burn your pumpkin, Crystal. It's Don't heat, do it. Honey. It's heat. It's but, not hey, worth it. If you want to try. The foam pumpkin, I mean, I'm all for it, girl. Also, how are you go iron on a, I mean, you know what, Rachel? What? This could be something we could test on with the you mini. You want to, with the mini. Those pumpkins are not cheap. With the mini. Those pumpkins price. are spincy. We can do it for you people so that you don't buy and ruin spincy pumpkins. If Crystal needs it. We can buy the bullet if that's what you want. I love it. <laughs> well, guys, if you're new here, I hope you had a great time getting crafty with us. This is such a fun project. I hope you guys try it out. Use the Flourish font. Make some really awesome projects. Get registered for the summit if you're not already. Grab a pro class if you're ready to level, level up your crafting, as well as get in on our best value membership tier because you're going to save $48 being a best value member compared to being a monthly member for a year. And you get in on for all the best perks with a ton of bonuses, literally like six hundred dollars worth of bonuses. So we love it. Rachel's dropped you the leaves. Rachel's dropped you the paint. Rachel's dropped you the green hearts, um, and it's a lot of fun. And Miss Karen, oh, she says it looks like it was made with infusible ink. I do love that. Just note, infusible ink does not work on this dark of a color. I wish it did. 
But okay, guys. Because I've tested it. <laughs> Rachel's tested it. So it's a lot of fun. But thank you guys so much. We will see you guys back here real soon and have a great time. And yes, be sure to use that coupon code FLASH35 for the Fall Summit. Get in before it's gone. So, okay, guys, have a great time. See you. Bye.